Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Past Cat Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of November 4th through the 10th, 2024 using my Traveler's Notebook size planner from Archer and Olive. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here we are in my traveler's notebook size planner. I'm going with a grid layout for this week's spread. I'll be using these fall blooms stickers, these craft circle stickers, this craft washi sheet, these month stickers, these autumn quote stickers, some days of the week stickers and some number stickers all from according to Allie. I'm also going to be using this sticker sheet from Stick With Kate and I'll be incorporating these two washi tapes. So I definitely didn't utilize my planner a ton in October. I think I filmed two plan with me's and on the weeks that I didn't film plan with me's, I used my planner very sparingly. And so moving into a new month, I definitely want to try to commit to using my planner a bit more functionally. And with that came the decision to use a grid layout for this week. And I definitely foresee myself using the grid layout at least a couple of times in the month of November. My first step for this plan with me was to take these number stickers from according to Allie and the days of the week stickers from according to Allie to put all of that stuff down. These number stickers are a little bit cut off on the bottoms of each number, but overall I think you can still tell what the date is, so I'm not too bothered by it. Now that I have that functional stuff in place, I wanted to create a a deco cluster in the bottom right corner and I ended up going with this uh, fall blooms cluster because I thought it would work really well with one of the craft circles and also with the different washi tapes that I wanted to incorporate. Now I wanted to use one of these craft washi strips and I really wanted to use either the script one or the floral one but the script one was really thick too thick for this small space and I thought that the floral one might just be a little bit too busy given the floral bloom that I'm using. So I went with a grid one. That means there are two grid washies in this spread which I'm not necessarily always a fan of using the same like style washi but I don't think it looks too bad because obviously the colors are very very different. So I put down the craft washi first and then I'm going in with this green grid washi that pulls in the green color from the leaves on the fall bloom sticker and then this spotty dotty washi which is also from according to Allie and then I'm putting down my cluster. I do really, really love the way that it looks. I'm cutting off the excess and then I'm gonna go back in with a November sticker and a week number sticker to kind of finish off this cluster. Now, my initial intention was to also include a quote, but the deco just took up a bunch of room and I didn't really think there was any place for me to include a quote sticker that would have made sense and would have looked right. So I decided to abandon that idea and just stick with the November and stick with the week number sticker. I'm actually kind of making sure I have the right week number here. I wanted to put down the correct sticker. And what I ended up doing is deciding to put a quote somewhere else as a way to add just a little bit more deco to this spread. So on the autumn quotes sheet, I found a quote sticker that was basically the width of one of the pages in the Traveler's Notebook Size Planner. So I'm putting down a circle sticker. I'm putting down this small little floral cluster here 
and that's going to be my deco and then I'm laying the quote down over it and again it kind of fits perfectly across this page. It is a little bit more challenging to read over the floral sticker because that orange is a little bit darker but I still think you can make it out and you know overall I, I think this kind of mini quote cluster looks cute so I am going to cut off the excess and then we're going to be done with adding in all of our stickers for this spread and the last thing that we're going to do is use my micron in 08 to put in the lines to separate each day of the week i definitely wanted to lean into the fall vibes with this spread i did something very halloween-esque last week and I had done another very Halloween inspired spread in October as well and so for the month of November I want to lean into these neutrals I want to lean into the different variations of brown and I want to add in these more rustic colors these more burnt colors and I'm glad I was able to do that this week I love the way the spread came out I hope that you all enjoyed this plan with me as much as I had fun putting it together and as always everyone please be safe bye bye